Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a floating widget above a character so you, you can show their health or stamina or whatever you want. So I'll show you how to add a health bar above the character so it shows here. Now it won't be on ours, it will be on an AI or an NPC or whatever you want or a different player. But I'm going to show you how to do this. And you can just transfer these skills onto different characters so it could be on your own if you wanted as well. Like if you're making a multiplayer game. So let's get right into it. So what I'm going to do first is create an AI which is very simple, I'm not going to make it move or anything, so I'll just get the character here, so I'll just get the third person character in third person BP, blueprints in third person character and I'll just duplicate this, so I'll go control C go back to content, I'll make a new folder and I'll just call this AI, open that up and I'll go and hit control V in here and I'll just hit F2 on this and just rename this AI1 and obviously you probably have your own AI already, so you can just put it on there so then I'm going to open this up and we don't need to do anything else in here so I'll just go over to the viewport here and then what we're going to do is make a new variable so in the bottom left down here hit plus variable I'm going to call this health and then we'll change the variable from boolean to float like that hit compile and I'm going to set the default value to 90 so we can see that it has a bit of health missing just as a test of the progress bar so now we hit compile save that we can then minimize this now I'm going to create the health bar itself so if I right click go to user interface and widget blueprint I'm just going to call this AI health or AI widget whatever you want then open that up and then what I'm going to do is just get a progress bar up here and put that in doesn't matter how big or what it looks like or anything but I'm just going to make it fairly big and anchor it to the middle like so again customize this however you want but this is how I'm going to do it so there we go, that works. I'll just do that to test it. Works perfectly. And then on the percent down here, under progress, I'm just going to hit bind and create binding. And this is where we're just going to actually make it so the health works. And then if we just go straight to the event graph and off of event construct, if we just cast to our AI, so mine is AI1 or whatever character you want it to be on. And then actually just before we do that, if we drag off this again, and do get all actors of class and as select class we want AI1 and out, out actors we're going to get get a copy and plug that into the object there and this is quite a long winded way of doing it but it works a lot better and th there isn't a chance it might fail because sometimes it does so then as AI1 what we're going to do is just right click this and promote a variable I'm going to call this AI1 ref like that there we go hit compile and then we go back to get percent zero for the health bar and then we just get a reference to our uh, reference so we drag it in and get and off of this we just get health scroll all the way down and there it is and if we drag off of this and get a float divided by float like that and we just divide it by 100 and then just plug the return value of that into the return value of the return node and hit compile and then go back to our AI character and then the components tab at the top left if we hit add component and search for a widget we can then add that in I'm going to call this health widget like so and then down in the right of here under user interface we're going to change space from world to screen so that it always faces the character, it doesn't just move and then we're going to add the widget class to the one we just made so I've called it AI Health and you can see that it's here so we can then move this up pull this up to see what it looks like and actually if we just change it back to world for a second we can see how big it is so obviously I don't want it that big so we can change it in the actual widget itself but I'm just going to scale it down in here so I'm going to make it that big for now so you can change it however you want this works for me just as a tutorial purpose and I'll change it from world to screen again hit compile and if I minimize this and then I can just drag this AI in so if I look at it I'll just move it there like that and if I hit play we can get in and see that he has the progress bar above his head like that and it stays there always faces the camera now it does get quite big when I walk over here so actually I will just change the size of it in the widget itself, so if I go back to the designer I will just make this a lot smaller like this, I'll just move it up to the top left anchor it to the top left and I'll also just change the actual 
panel to reach that as well. So as well, if we change it from fill screen up here to custom, like that, and then we just make this so it fits here, like so. Hit compile, go back to AI1. And then if we also change the size down here to what the actual widget is, so mine, as you can see up here, 109 by 26. So if we then change this in here, 109, 26. Obviously you want to customize these for your own widget and make it look a lot better. This is just a quick example. So then if we test this again, minimize and play, we can see that it's now above the character. And if we move over, it stays there perfectly and it always faces the screen always faces where the character is looking. So if we didn't do it on a screen, we did it on world, you'll see that you can only see it from the front and not any other angle. If you do this, it just stays like that. Which you might want, but obviously the screen looks a lot better as it follows the camera. And now we can see that this works perfectly. And if we look around, it sticks to the screen. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we wanted to do. We've set up the AI and given it health and then made it so the health is displayed above the character like this. And if we move around it, it doesn't matter what angle we look at him from, the progress bar is always facing us so we can always see what it is. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.